Oh, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to show you a tip on the bow and arrow choke. Mark Sobere, we trained before, right? He's a buddy of mine. We used to go to uh, the national training camp. He's been there. And then he asked specifically like, oh, can you give me tips on the bow and arrow choke? So that's what we're gonna to do today, right? Okay, so my Uke here, George, he's down in the turbo position. Okay, classically, classically, let's bring your head this way, right? Classically, classically, bow and arrow choke. Let's turn your hand another 90 degrees. Okay, I want to go cross collar, sit up for a second, right? Have the cross collar position. Really difficult to get, but we're, I'm gonna show you tips on how to get this, right? Cross collar, I go over, I slide this leg through, I wanna be perpendicular to my opponent. I'm gonna drop my head through this pocket as I thread my arm to capture this leg, right? I slide through, I go over, and now I'm sort of in this position. Look, and I cross my legs, I anchor, and then look, I finish the choke, right? That's a very, very classic bow and arrow choke. Uh, but tips on how to get it, right? If I'm doing Georgie, uh, there was with George here, he's down on the mat. He's not gonna let me grab this collar, okay? As soon as I grab this collar, he's gonna start fighting this hand off. It's gonna be very, very difficult. So one of my favorite things to do uh, to my opponent is first get this grip. This grip is very, very easy to get. I get this grip and I go cross collar grip. Okay, so sit up for a second. Right, notice this cross collar grip here. From here, I'm gonna to jump to this side, I'm gonna block this knee, and I'm gonna pull Georgie into my lap as if I'm gonna go into this back attack position, okay? Very, very common, okay? So I have the cross collar behind the neck. I sit and I block the knee. Let's circle here for a second, all right? Cross collar, lapel, I block the leg with my leg and I fold him over onto my lap here, okay? Really, really easy to do. A lot of people already do this. George doesn't want me to pull him into my lap, so he's gonna base out with his elbow wide, okay? Once he bases out wide, right now, resist uh, pulling into my lap. Now it's very, very difficult for me to pull him onto my lap, right? Notice his base. When he bases out from his hip, this elbow, and he fights his way back down to his base, glad I fight to your stomach, this is the moment I go for the collar, okay? So it's going to be a lot of back and forth. I'm going to try to sit my opponent down as he's climbing back up to his base, right? That's when I feed this hand to the lapel. And from here, I immediately go over, right? And then look to attack the bone arrow choke here. Okay, I have to make a couple minor adjustments here, and then I can finish the choke. Okay. Sometimes, I get really lucky if we're doing judo tachiwaza here. If I'm dominant in position, I have the collar uh, thumb right by the chin, and George goes for a bad drop Sanagi. Boom, I can step to the side, and from here I can immediately go over and then attack this bow and arrow choke, going in this direction, neck to ankle, and finish the choke as well, right? So there's two tips, very right, nice and easy, and ways to get the bow and arrow choke, right? I'm sure there's more, but yeah, there's two. Oh, thank you.